Hello everybody, welcome to the session 2 and the first video of session 2. Uh, let me first give you an overview of the previous section that what we created and what we learned in previous section. First of all, we created a simple page for displaying the search engine, the search box where uh, users can search something or can search their queries. After that, we created a database or uh, inside MySQL databases called search. And inside that database, we created a table called sites. And for inserting data into this uh, table, we created a page called insert underscore site dot php. This is the form you can see in previous section we created. And we inserted some data uh, by using this simple inserting, um, you know, uh, ins inserting page. So you can see the details are here, the website details. We have a site ID, site title, site link, site keyword, description, and image names are here, uh, are saving uh, in this last field, last column of this. In the auto increment, the ID is auto increment, so the record which is coming over here is incremented automatically. Now, what we need to do is actually when someone will search here in this engine, so we need to display this data inside the table to the users. Okay, so we can also go to my computer c colon and there is a folder zamp inside which the HT docs is there and our uh, main folder search engine is over here you can click there is a folder images so the images are coming here basically when we are inserting some data using this insert page so the name in the text data the string data is going to this table including the image name which we are saving here because later on we, when we will be displaying the results back on this page so we will need the names of these images and we will insert those images from here but as a reference we will uh, call the image name so the same image will be displaying with the same row or the same website or the result so now what we need to actually do is the first thing is first which is to make this procedure a little bit more easier and copy make a shortcut of this folder on our desktop because we cannot go again and again to my computer and then C and then XAMPP and then HTDocs so why not we just create a shortcut of this folder on our desktop so the actual folder will be here and the shortcut will be on our desktop so we can easily access this folder on our desktop so just right click it this is a quick tip before starting over this section and send it to desktop is a shortcut now just close it whenever you will need it so just click it it will be opening in a separate window we have created two pages so far the first one is just a simple page search.html for displaying this simple search box to the users in the second page that we created is insert underscore site.php which is having some P, uh, HTML codes, a table, a form, and after that we uh, just you know created a PHP script to upload the data in, into the database and move the images into our folder called images. You can see here we used a function move uploaded file and with a temporary name site image which we are getting from this line, from this one and we are saving that inside the images folder and the image name is this one which is coming in the variable from this variable and also we inserted this this all details into our table here you can see now we can add some more data to the table so we can uh, then display all the data when someone will search over here just go to this folder First of all, I will just search something on uh, Google Beauty Tips, for example. So, five websites that we are having here. Mm, this is a website. This is another website. Yes, we will. Add three websites. This is the URL of the website. I just copied it will paste it into site link mm, and uh, the title will be this one beauty tips in Urdu yeah. 
and site keywords uh, sorry the site keywords will be beauty tips beautiful girls beauty on roads something like that in the description we will get from here Google's page just for testing purpose paste it over here an image I will choose from my computer yes for example this Selena Gooms now when you click insert new site you are just having this pop up saying data inserted into table now go and check again just click browse in the table and you are seeing the result is incre incre incremented 7 number ID and this is the title and the link and other things now we will close it copy the another URL of website paste it inside the first uh, sorry the site link and then come over here or you can write by yourself but no just let me write by myself beauty tips and tracks for women and the same beauty tips will be the keyword and I will copy the description from search page here in on Google paste it over here and uh, picture I will insert from my computer just for testing purpose you know just letting you know that how to insert data into the database this is the picture its site this is another you can also find the images over here if I go to my this folder search engine which is inside htdocs but we have created a shortcut of that images so you are seeing here is the image and this is another image just we inserted right before you know a few seconds or fashion articles or for fashion sites so this is the last one we are now we'll first copy its um, title sorry the side link into side link and after that we'll find a title um, beauty tips this is the title we'll add something more beauty tips in tracks tricks keyword uh, would be the same beauty tips beautiful girls etc and we can take the description from Google in the image I will leave from my own computer local computer from here image will be this one now just add site so we have inserted three more details three more websites into our table all of the data is here now you can see result number eight in the images name as well as we are images are coming into this folder images inside the search engine main root folder so now whenever someone will search in this search engine for example SEO tips in search now so the person will be going to the result.php page which you can see in the browser address bar but there is no page because we have not created any page we can create it just by control N in our text editor notepad and just insert doc type HTML the single tag for HTML5 extension you have to do the normal structure of HTML like head tag and then title tag you will see result result page and title close head close uh, and we will insert the body tag and then we'll close the body tag below here and after that the HTML tag will be closed control is to save save it inside the search engine the same folder and name it results.php you can see here results.php save 
and now if you refresh this page again and write something CTFs or anything click search now so oh sorry there is result only result not results so we can rename the page again here this is results so we'll just remove the S and after that we'll write again search again now we are going to a blank page result.php which we have just created you can see this one so this is the result page very simple in next video we will be working on this page because we need to recall the data from the database and show to the users on the next page results dot php result dot php when someone will search some keywords or something any query so when he will click search now so we'll be going to next page result dot php where we need to show the relevant result so i'm coming in the next tutorial